Hi guys, so as always we are going to start out with a drawing of how we want our finished diorama to look. I thought while we draw I can tell you a little bit about the guy who inspired this project and his name is George Washington Carver. He's a very well-known African-American agricultural scientist and botanist who was born into slavery and later became world famous for his work with peanuts and is actually often credited with inventing peanut butter, although there are three other guys who patented that. He did pave the way for peanut products in America, try saying that three times fast, and he was driven by this urge to help poor farmers to find an alternative crop to cotton because they were depleting the soil year after year and getting smaller and smaller crops and basically going into debt. And since he had grown up on a small farm, he knew the struggle for smaller farmers and his goal was to find alternative crops for them that they could sell and make products out of that would be able to basically give them an income when they were rotating the crops from cotton to something else to re-enrich the soil. He invented hundreds of products including papers, oils, soaps, wood stains, I mean medications, you name it, he probably made it with peanuts or sweet potatoes. I'll link some information down below about him in case you want to find out more and let's get into this build. First I'm making a base using some foam board, some thin wood, you can use plywood or balsa wood, and some molding that I picked up at my favorite place on earth, Home Depot. Just make sure that you get something thin enough for your tiny diorama. Next it's time for a little science of our own. We are going to make our own wood stain. And this is a simple recipe that uses instant coffee and vinegar. I think apple cider vinegar works a little bit better, but you can test out different kinds and see which kind works for you. I then give it a wash of dark black acrylic paint. I got this awesome ruler at printablerulers.net and it has different um, measurements for whatever scale you're working with and makes this entire process a lot easier. So shout out to them. You guys should check them out and get some rulers for yourself from there if you do any kind of hobby work that's in miniature. And shout out to my dad for helping me cut 45 degree angles on this molding for the base. I use another piece of foam board to make the back wall of this scene. And the great thing about the foam board is that it is my go-to for making anything that looks like bricks because you can just draw on it with your pencil and get pretty realistic looking results. To add some texture, I'm rolling over the entire thing with crumpled up tin foil. Speaking of cool science, this pink stuff is drywall and it actually turns white when it's finished drying after about 15 minutes. I'm just mixing it with some glue and I'm going to use that to simulate the grout on our brick wall in the background. So cardboard from food packaging is probably the most underrated tool that you can have for building dioramas. It is so, so, so versatile and amazingly cheap, as in like mostly free, because you can just dig it out of the trash. <laughs> or um, after you finish eating all your graham crackers, you can just cut it up. I could go on and on. Literally, I'm obsessed with this stuff. So if you haven't been using it already, you need to get on that immediately.
I'm using 1 8 inch thick basswood for building the desk. Um, not sure if it's pronounced basswood or basswood. I have two very knowledgeable people both saying different things to me about it. So I'm gonna pronounce it basswood from now on because that's how it's spelled to me. And um, <laughs> if I'm wrong, you guys will just hear me pronounce it incorrectly in every video. And that's okay, that can be our thing. It's like an inside joke between us, right? <laughs> The stuff that I'm drawing on is expanded PVC and it's awesome because you can cut it really easily and it super glues together so you don't have to use any fancy like plastic solvents or anything to work with it. But the downside is it's a little difficult to find in this thickness. So for one millimeter thick, you really have to kind of get it off of eBay. Um, you can't Amazon it. I made a video that's coming out next week about my bootleg vacuum former that I made for free, but also, I mean, if I was to buy the wood and stuff that I had just lying around, probably it would cost me around like $5 to make this thing. Um, it's, it, it works. <laughs> it definitely works, but it's super janky and just thrown together. But you guys will see um, in my next video uh, how to make that if you're interested. I'm adding a metallic finish to these objects by using Rub and Bub Skilding Wax. Then I cover some paper with UV resin and light it up under a UV light for the, the glass part of this tiny scale. So my cat all ball has to be in every single <laughs> thing that I do and um, he says hello and I say thank you for watching my video. I had a lot of fun making this diorama and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh and I have so many, okay so I actually started filming ahead of time for the next videos so they will actually come out in a decent amount of time. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you did like the video and that way you will know when the next ones come out. Thanks for watching. Bye.